Okay, Mark Heath here with the man behind the shirts, Paul McCrow, head of retail here at Ipswich Town. A big day for you, Paul. Um, we've just seen the home and away shirts for the first time, and there's, like everything, there's a narrative behind it, which is very much a theme here at Ipswich Town. Do you want to talk a little bit about the change of manufacture, first of all, and then the story behind the shirts themselves? Yeah, we've obviously moved away to Umbro. Um, I kind of think it was a, a natural decision, given the history that we've had. Um, and we want to do something a bit different to what we've done in the past as well. Um, something that gives us a bespoke, unique shirt. Uh, so we really looked at what is bespoke and unique about Ipswich. And if you speak to any fans, uh, they'll tell you Portman Road, our stadium. Mm -hmm. And you often hear that from away fans when they come to the ground. It's a really nice, mm. proper football stadium. So we looked at our old stand, a cobbled stand, uh, and we took pieces of the structure out of that stand, um, made a pattern within the shirt, uh, a really nice graphic that runs through the whole shirt which you guys saw when you kind of did your mm. unveiling earlier and it just gives us a really bespoke unique shirt that no one else has. Mm. Uh, and there's other little touches as well isn't there? There's the, um, you've moved the, the three stars for example. Yeah we have, yep. We really wanted this, the front of the shirt to be fresh, but new start, uh, new challenges, um, but we still want to retain that nod to those past achievements because they're mm. massive achievements for the club. Um, so we've moved them onto the back of the shirt, uh, just below the collar. Uh, there's also a reason we've done that as well, which is when the players walk into a changing room on a match day, their name is below those three stars. Mm. So it, it gives them that like incentive, that knowledge of what can be achieved at this club. Mm. So yeah, we've gone down that route as well. And there's also within the, these shirts a nod to classic Umbro shirts from the past, isn't there? Can you talk a bit about that? There is. Um, I think if people think of the iconic Umbro shirts, they think of the early 90s shirts. Uh, the, the 92 shirt the, the, and also the first shirt we wore in the Prem with the, with the tassels mm. which we haven't quite gone down no. that route but they both have a flash of red in the collar so mm. we've added that into the shirt it gives it that iconic retro feel but then you have the graphic running through it which gives it a really modern mm. modern look as well mm. and let's talk about the away shirt because the away shirt is a beauty I mean I love the home shirt but the away shirt is something special indeed um, and again it's a kind of nod to history there it is yeah yeah again to those classic ombro shirts that we had in the 90s we had one uh, which was uh, a red shirt with black pinstripes running through it and then one of our third shirts had the thicker black and red mm. stripes uh, so if you look at the uh, away shirt you'll see those thicker stripes and then just behind the crest there's a nod to those pinstripes running through it as well mm. Mm. so again it's, it's kind of a nod to a classic yeah. but a modern feel, feel to the shirt mm. and what's the process like for you can you give us an insight because i said you're the man behind the shirts how long does it take how much planning does it take how the ideas come up that kind of thing uh, if I told you we've uh, started planning the shirt for the following season wow. last week, wow. that's, that's how far ahead we work. So, this, so these shirts were planned well in advance. Um, mm. And because we were doing a lot of bespoke stuff with the shirts as well, there was a lot of work went until we started uh, middle, of, middle of last year on these shirts. Mm. Uh, in terms of the day for you, a big day for you, is it, is it a nervous day, kit release day, when you see the fans kind of reacting to them the first time, is it an exciting day? How do you feel about it? It's, 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 I guess it's a nervous day I mean, because you know, most people at the club are fans as well. Yeah. Um, and those those early '90s shirts were the shirts that I remember when I first started coming to games. Um, so it's, it's yeah, it's been a project. When you when, when you're working that project for so long, you want people to receive it well. So you're always looking at social, going, mm. all right, let's have a look, see what the comments are. Yeah. So it, it will be it will be a nerve wracking day, but I think everyone who's seen the shirts so far just fell in love with both of them. Yeah, I'm sure they're going to be very, very popular. Final question, Paul. Um, can I have a free shirt? Uh, we'll see. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> so that's not a no. Okay, Mark Heath, Paul Macro here. Uh, we'll speak to you next time.